What is up guys? This is Nick here from Everything Tech and welcome to this Moto G4 unboxings and first impression videos. Now, this device was just dropped along with the G4 Plus, which if there's enough interest in this device, we'll go ahead and pick that one up as well. But they're pretty much the same foam, so this might just serve as a review and impressions for both. But you can see, Unlocked works on all GSM carriers. It comes with an octa-core CPU, 13 megapixel camera on the rear, 5 megapixel on the front, 4G LTE for very nice fast service, a 5.5 inch 1080, that's full HD display, which is gonna bring it right in around 401 pixels per inch for all the people who care about the pixels, turbo charging and an SD card slot. So going off to the back, now this is the one I purchased at Best Buy Unlocked, so the box might vary depending on where you buy it. But you can see 5.5 inch octa core, the cameras, what we just talked about. Now it says the Moto G is carrier friendly, US network, do more faster with the 2 gigabytes of RAM, and take beautiful pictures, 3000 milliamp hour battery software, is clutter free with pure Android. We have some other things down here, just some stuff we don't care to read about. So let's go ahead and open this guy up. So if I go right here and peel this layer back, this should be where we can go ahead and open up the box of the Moto G. So if I slide it this way and you come out here, let's go ahead and pull this guy out. Yeah, that man needs to do it. Get this out of here. We don't need that no more. Get that out of the way. Now, you can see here is the Moto G4. So this is a standard affair. You're not going to get, you know, extra stuff in the box. They're not blue. They don't include headphones or nothing like that. But let's pull it out real quickly. And you can see this is the Moto G4 here. Looks pretty sweet for a budget phone device. Got the nice camera right there. A Little bit of a hump so far. Looks pretty decent. Let's go ahead and see what else comes in the box before we power that guy on. It says Moto G4 Read Me. So basically this is just gonna be the books that we don't care to read about. We all know how to do this by now if we've been using smartphones. Let's go ahead and put that off to the side. And another little safety regulatory legal things. Uh, you guys can pause that and read that if you care. I highly doubt you will pause though. The Moto Turbo Charger, which looks exactly like the turbo charger that used to come on the Moto or the Nexus 6 and the Moto like the Moto X Pure and things of that nature. But as you can see right there, turbo output is only supported on turbo enabled devices. But this is one, so we're gonna have some really nice fast charging. We'll be sure to include that in the review. So let's go ahead and pull out this cable, standard uh, USB cable. We can always use some more of these. Although it's getting to a point where I got so many, might as well give some of them away. Let's throw that off to the side. And um, let's go ahead and peel this off. I know you guys love hearing this little peel. Ooh, looks like we got a little bit of a hard sticker in there. Let's go ahead and peel that off. Let's go ahead and see if we got any juice. Now, let me see, this is, does this have a removable back? Yes, it does. So before we go ahead and power it on, it does have a removable back, but the battery is embedded within the device. Let's go ahead and power it up. We're gonna talk about everything about this phone in the review, so I'm not gonna go too in depth on the hardware and stuff in this video right here. But let me go ahead and power this guy on, and let's see what it is all about here. So it says Moto right there. Let me zoom in just a little bit here on the device. So it says Moto right there. And this is a nice upgrade over the Moto G3, the one from last year. It has 720p, now they went up to 1080. Bigger screen, a curvature design, and it is made by Lenovo. They bought out Motorola. Now, I wish Google would have kept them for the nice updates, but I guess they did not. So you can see Moto. And this, let me tell you guys, this phone right, right out the gate, it feels very, you know, nice and curved to your hand. Probably one of the best in-hand feels I've felt on a smartphone in a while in terms of just ergonomic, you know, feel in hand. So let me go ahead and power this guy up and we'll get back to you in just a second. All right, guys, so you can see we are now in the device and only one page, so there's nothing there yet. You have to start moving applications in. But this is a buttery smooth, you know, stock Android build, and they gave me 80% out of the box, which is not bad here. But my first impressions so far are, for the price, guys, this probably might be one of the best budget phones of the year. Now, I know there's a lot of metal builds on other phones, such as the Blue Vivo 5, the Honor 5X, but this phone has a huge advantage in the software. It runs a vanilla Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow, and that's gonna make a huge difference. Also, for being a phone this size, 
automatically I can tell you right out of the gate, this feels super ergonomic. So this already has a leg up and super light over the competition in terms of feel in hand. And it does have Motorola's trademark dimple, which we'll talk more about in the review, plus turbocharger. So let's just take a quick snap of a picture real quick. Let me pull in the turbocharger here. Just before we end this video up, let's take a quick, quick snap here. And uh, let's allow the camera so you can see. Never really liked Motorola's camera app, but let's go ahead and take a quick snap and see how the picture quality is here. Now I do have some lights above me, so this is gonna be a little bit better quality than you know regular indoor lighting, but overall, shouldn't be too bad here. But you can see, looks pretty solid there for you know for a $199 phone. Doesn't look bad. But what are my overall first impressions? Looking pretty great for $199, guys. But anyways, do you guys want to see any videos on the Moto G4? Go ahead and drop that down below in the comment section. Also, if this device really interests you, maybe we'll pick up the G4 Plus and do a review on that as well. Although they are very similar phones, but you see this is a marshmallow budget device and we're going to be having extra coverage on this baby. We're probably going to do camera reviews, in-depth reviews, gaming stuff. So go ahead and drop down any thoughts, suggestions, ideas so we can uh, have the best coverage on the planet here on the Moto G4. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please click the like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more technology videos like this. And I will catch you all in the next episode. Be sure to be well and peace.